Congratulations, ladies. Boy, you did such a great job. This is so much fun. And I, I got to know, I mean, what is it like entering Tim Burton's world and being a part of it? Belly it's Marcus? completely surreal. Uh, the first day, at the first day on set, Tim took me uh, on a tour around all the different sets, and it was the first time it hit me that I was in a Tim Burton film. It was out of this world. And what about for you? I mean, my goodness. <laughs> I mean, the same thing. I mean, I think it's just actually stepping foot on set and then just, you know, being able to be directed by Tim Burton and acting opposite Michelle Pfeiffer and Johnny Depp and Helena Bottom Carter. You know, it's, it's it, you know, a lot of the moments on set were incredibly surreal, but, you know, you'll yeah. never forget them. Yeah. What is he like as a director in terms of his collaborations or just letting you, you know, go freely with your characters? He's... He's he's a very hands-on director, but I think he he allows you to he like allows you your own emotional space, you know, and he he lets you kind of go there and yeah. he encourages it. Yeah, and moreover, he was just fun to work with, and he had a really good sense of humor, so it just made going to work really fun. Yeah, uh, great. Now, obviously, not old enough to have watched the TV series, and you obviously had grown up in America, or anything, but but was it something when you guys got the role? Did you go and look them up on the internet, or just watch them, or get a feel for what the show was yeah, about? Yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. What did it? What was it like? Why do you think people were so addicted to them? It's just so campy and fun and, and it's just it's just something it's an escape you know and, I think and it was the first of its kind wasn't it I mean yeah. I, what was around before that that was like a gothic soap opera <laughs> I mean, I, we grew up in the generation of, of every, Buffy and yeah, Twilight and exactly. what have you, like, but that was, Vampire Diaries. it seemed like that was the first, yeah. as yeah. far as I'm, no, I mean, there's Dracula, but. Yeah. Well, but as Michelle said, she film. felt naughty watching it and she liked that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and then, of course, I was saying you, you have this amazing cast to work with, but we need to talk about Johnny Depp. Now, you get to kiss him a couple times. Is that tough work? No, yeah, it's a tough job, but someone's got to do it. Uh, no, he's, it was fine. He's really professional, and he took me aside the day before, and he's like, you feel okay about this? It's kind of weird. And I was like, yeah, it's weird. And then we had this discussion that kind of normalised it as much as it could, given the circumstance. But any kiss on set's weird. You've got, like, 50 people standing around <laughs> watching you. It's a pretty strange situation. Yeah, and to have somebody like Johnny, I mean, this he's such an amazing actor and so giving and such a nice person. But to work opposite somebody who's in that kind of makeup, how do you keep a straight face? I mean, I guess it's just, you know, when they say action, you just get into the character and it's just natural, you know? But, I mean, my character was already kind of, she kind of made fun of him all the time. <laughs> so it was easy because she could be weird towards him. Yeah, she thought he was weird. She thought he was weird. And you, she, on the other hand. I think it was good because in a way you forget that it's Johnny Depp. You just see this strange Barnabas. creature in front of you, yeah, which yeah. actually made it easier. Now, Michelle was telling me about the Barnabas Collins Finger Slash Nail Award. Did either of you get that? Can you tell me a little bit about that? I didn't know about this. What's this? What? Did you not hear about this? Apparently, no. if you had a good day on set, he would take off one of his fingers and give it to you as an award. Well, we must have been toes. Oh. <laughs> we, must, we must have sucked. I never got a finger. Yeah, no, no, no. Uh, I'm not Michelle Pfeiffer. Yeah. Well, maybe he'll give you the finger on the red carpet. <laughs> <laughs> that, that doesn't sound good. It does, it does. <laughs> I hope he doesn't. <laughs> I am not either. Knowing Johnny, there's no way. I hope no he just way. shakes my hand. I'm sure he will. I'm sure he will. Uh, what was it like for you girls to get into the 70s mode? I mean, oh, it's got to be the worst fashions and time of, what? I think, personally, growing up in it. But what was it like really? for you? Yeah, oh, I do. Oh, yeah. I think it's one of the best fashion. I think it's one of the best times in fashion. And I think music. the 80s are the worst. Yeah, or yeah. N a 90s. 80s, 90s. Yeah. I think some 90s are cool but otherwise it's a little weird. Yeah. Yes, the music is amazing, I have to say. That soundtrack yeah. is, is fantastic. Yeah, like when you walked onto this set, now I can't even, when you go you know, to Pinewood and you see, it's not just, you know, you're not doing stuff behind green screen. You're in this castle, like you're in these sets. You know, going back to the question about Tim Burton's world, what's it like to be able to have that around, surrounding you and, and work in an environment it's like that? It's really helpful. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's really great to have a whole world set up that you can step into and you don't have to work as hard in a sense you don't have to make it all up in your mind because it's there yeah I mean you just walk into set and you're completely submersed in this Tim Burton 1970s feeling you know you don't look down and like see a plastic coke bottle in the corner it's like no it's everything's pitch perfect to where you can just be your character doesn't miss a beat you know and, and having him and Helena together on a set I can't even imagine what's up, what it's like 
<laughs> it's fun. Yeah. It's really fun. They're they're the funniest. And their kids are really cute. Yeah. They ran around little princess cost is so cute. <laughs> anyway. All right. So if you ladies had the opportunity to come back 200 years from now and check in on your descendants, what would you be hoping to find? Let's start with you. Uh, <laughs> good oral hygiene. <laughs> uh, to, on my descendants? I'm not sure. Uh, sanity? <laughs> you know? I'm just... I hope they're <laughs> successful and happy. And that's really a better that's answer. That's a better yeah, one. Oral like, hygiene. Sanity, good oral hygiene. Oh. She's like, sanity and good oral hygiene. Good genes that they can pass on to Good me. genes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I hope genes carry on. There you go. <laughs> We're <Okay>. very plus. <laughs> so what, what's up next for you? I know you got a, a couple of things happening. Are we going to be working with some Brad Pitt dude or something? Yeah. No, that was a rumor. I did okay. get to work with David Chase, though, so I've got Not Fade Away coming out, which yep. is pretty exciting. He's awesome. This yeah. Is, oh, my God. And what about Brad? I know Hick, we spoke about that at Toronto Film Festival, which is spectacular. Anything coming up? After this, now is this yeah. Carrie rumor happening? Yeah, yeah. I start filming Carrie June first in Toronto, and um, yeah, just a lot of pre-production right now, and getting into it with uh, Kim, and uh, yeah, I just they're still they're still finishing up casting. So have you met Sassy Sissy Spacek, and have you talked to her? I've I've never met her, but you know, I would love to. I'm sure. I mean, she's you know. She's well, my icon. idol. Yeah, she's an icon. Well, I mean, get her I to Toronto so... and get her in that cameo. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> you guys are fantastic, and uh, congratulations on this great job. Thank Good you. Good talking to you.